In this first example, we'll be looking at diffusion. We can see that there are a higher concentration of solutes on the outside of the cell and a lower concentration on the inside. During diffusion, particles move from high concentration to low concentration and they're able to pass directly through the cell membrane as long as they are small and do not have a charge. Sometimes particles are either too large or they have a charge and they're unable to go directly through the membrane. When this happens, these particles have to use protein channels in order to make it through. Now in this example, we see that the concentration on the inside is actually higher than the concentration on the outside. And so in this case, these particles will go out of the cell, but notice that they're still going from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, because this is a type of diffusion. It also does not require any energy because it's a passive transport system. Here we have an example of active transport. In this scenario, we have a higher concentration on the outside and a lower concentration on the inside. But in this case, the cell is actually able to pump molecules from an area of lower concentration to an area of higher concentration. It does this by using energy in the form of ATP. And by using its own energy, it can actually pump these particles against the concentration gradient.